fucking with my ice cream, tampering with it, I will personally come to your house and shove a waffle one up your ass. <laughs> All right, so this is the man we're going to be talking about today. The man himself, Arcade Craniacs, also known as the man who is literally carrying 2021. And I thought I'd just go ahead and clear something up before I start the video. A few of you guys, uh, I'm sorry, a, lo a lot of you guys got a bit confused on whether I actually liked or hated Arcade Craniacs. And I just have to say, nah, man, I hate Arcade Craniacs so much. You want to know why I hate him? You know what he likes? He, he, he likes MILFs, guys. And I just can't stand by that, guys. I'm the most family-friendly YouTuber there is. Man, I love frogs. You know what, guys? Never mind. He actually just likes frogs. Nah, but all jokes aside, I don't actually hate Arcade Craniacs. His videos are pretty funny, and I know that they are satire. A bunch of you guys legitimately thought that I hated him. <laughs> So today we're going to be looking at another one of Arcade Craniac's videos, mainly for the fact that even though it got 500 dislikes, it got 900 likes, so at least some of you guys liked it. I think. So this particular video is called Don't Watch Elmo at 3 a.m. and I just have to go ahead and ask where the hell do they get their ideas for their videos? I mean regardless of it being satire or not, these ideas are genuinely good ideas that you know appeal to the audience that they're trying to mock. Dude, if the actual 3 a.m. channels are not taking notes, they definitely should be. Like I'm not even joking at this point, they average around 500,000 views a video and with that amount of views, they're obviously securing the bag. I mean regardless of it being a joke or not, they're obviously swimming in a pool full of cash. Also before we jump into the video if you guys would like to leave a like and subscribe down below then that would help me out a ton i'm trying to reach 11k by the end of this week so you guys subscribing would get me closer to that goal also while you're at it if you want to follow my twitter and join my discord server that would be amazing all of this stuff is free and you can undo it later but uh with all that being said uh sit back relax grab your mp3 player and start playing elmo's world on that bitch. and let's get into it Yo, what is up my Cranny X? And if you are new to the channel right now and you click this video, make sure to subscribe because we do insane, scary videos at 3 a.m. But on to- Dude, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how he manages to keep a straight face through all of these videos. Like, I seriously have to consider whether it's a joke or not because, dude, the acting is on point. And I'm gonna show you right now. Let me get it right now. Look at this, guys. Ew! I Don't wet. open! And it has blood all over it. Should we even open this up, Nicole? You know, in a normal adult mind, I think the answer is no, we don't open it up. But for a nine-year-old, I mean, obviously, he's going to open it up to appeal to them. I mean, the man is a marketing genius. I mean, he makes content to mock the people who do the 3 a.m. challenges while still making it believable for the younger audience. I mean, despite it being a joke and despite them, you know, mocking the other 3 a.m. channels, they're still able to bring in the viewers that those 3 a.m. channels would. <laughs> It's my Elmo doll! What the heck? It finally came! You guys, I got this haunted Elmo doll on the dark web. You know, this ain't the first time that he has gotten something off of the dark web. I mean, I specifically remember the time that he found a special crystal off of the dark web, and it literally makes anything come to life when you put it inside. Did that actually happen, or is it just me? And supposedly, on the directions, it says when you put the Elmo doll on a Ouija board with candles at 3 a.m. and you have to play the Elmo movie, and he will come to life. Okay guys, we have the snacks. We have some Pepper Farms classics from Christmas. Ooh. We have Chips Ahoy. Oh. We have chips with no salsa because we're ghetto. All right, man, after that one, I just had to unsubscribe because dude, who eats chips without salsa? I mean, maybe if he had cheese dip or queso, but dude, besides that, it is unexcusable. And we have a uh, uh, sweet, spicy, sweet chili. We don't have freaking Salsa. I mean, hey, at least me and him have the same anger towards not having salsa, so uh, I just had to resubscribe after that one. Oh yeah, speaking of that little haunted demonic plush. Now, obviously, I know that Edward is joking. I've mentioned that multiple times in this video, but this really makes me worry for actual 3 a.m. channels that unironically act like this to, you know, get content. Like, it genuinely makes me worry about their mental health. Yeah, the RK Craniacs channel is a joke, but, like, there are actual 3 a.m. channels that unironically act like that. Yeah. Um, we gotta move over here, actually, so we keep an eye out on him, guys. Yeah, yeah, let's pay attention to him. I don't wanna miss out on anything. Now, I don't know why I thought about this just now. I don't know if I'm mentally insane, but what happens if one of those candles falls over and just starts burning the Elmo plush? I promise you guys, I don't have anything wrong with me. But it says in the directions to well, watch. I guess well, I Elmo, you gotta watch oh, Elmo's Elmo potty, potty time. time. Oh, and it flushed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Elmo, Elmo, really? 
Can we give the main man himself, Edward, a round of applause for that Elmo impression? As much as we know that this video is obviously a joke, that impression was literally spot on. They're talking about wee-wees and poo-poos. That's kind of weird. This they're like, the little girl was like, I wee-wee all the time on myself. I'm like, yeah. lady, can you get to the bathroom? Yeah, can somebody help these kids? They're pee-peeing on themselves. Jeez. Dude, it never fails to amaze me that this guy is literally staying relevant in 2021 with pee-pee and poo-poo jokes. You know, actually, now that I think about it, we've been in a pandemic for about a year now, so it's nothing weirder than we've already seen. The thing is, what I learned is that when you go woo-woo, you know, poo-poo in the, in the potty, yeah. everybody uses toilet paper. Yeah. And it's so weird because I thought you're supposed to just grab the, the poop and then throw it in the toilet. Honestly, bro, Edward is spitting facts right now. There I was, a little pog champ straight out of the womb, right? And you know, I was like, what, two years old? And uh, you know, I was just trying to figure out how the hell do I take a shit? And uh, long story short, I did what Edward said in the video and I continued to do that until I got into school. So you know, little four-year-old me, I finished going to the bathroom in kindergarten, right? And then I come back and the kids start bullying me for having shit stains on my hands. I don't know, man. I think they might just be angry that they're not going to the bathroom correctly. And basically to cut to the case, I had to learn how to wipe with toilet paper and basically that started a chain of reactions and here I am making YouTube commentary videos in my free time. I don't know man, maybe I would contribute to society more if wiping with your hand was normal. Just saying. Wipe your ass with toilet paper and no one bats an eye. But wipe your ass with your hand and everybody starts losing their minds. If those kindergartners didn't bully me back then, then I would probably be a multi-millionaire right now, but uh, here we are. So I learned something today, so I'm gonna go try that out right now. Oh my god. I'll be back. Well, uh, Edward, make sure you're careful. I mean, you are watching a Haunted Elmo movie. All I'm saying is that it'd be really sucky if you had to come back because there was no toilet paper left, so you pooped in your boxers a little bit, and then you sit down while it's crusty. That would be a shame, wouldn't it? Well, I think this is where I go ahead and pass the mic over to one of my friends known as User. I thought I'd have him hop on the video, so, uh, User, take it away. Yo, what's up, guys? Today, we're gonna be talking about Elmo poo poo paper. I don't normally make videos like this, but I had to come on my boy XD's channel. I think this guy's actually really smart for trying to pair these 3 a.m. channels like so using mostly poop jokes unless this isn't a parody and he really went to the bathroom and there was no toilet paper so he pooped in his boxers a little bit and then now it's all crusty and then he sat down so far nothing weird has happened and it's just oh, the only weird thing is that today i found out that you're supposed to use paper to clean your booty and not to grab the poo poo and throw it in the let's just not talk about this. let's just wait for the end of the movie and see what happens okay okay so we just finished watching the movie yo what what? Elmo's not there anymore! What do you mean he's, he's just not there? there? What do you look, mean? Look! What? Oh my god! Holy shit, guys, it's starting to get serious. I remember I used to be afraid of Elmo when I was younger. I remember he used to show up on every Thursday of June when I was six years old. He would hover over my bed every night at 3 a.m. and I would wake up to see him staring at me in the eyes, telling me to give in to the voices. But he stopped showing up after June ended, so I'm not really afraid of him anymore. Plus, Elmo's a little baby kid's toy for baby kids, and I'm a grown man adult. Turn the lights on! Turn the lights on! What the hell? Oh my god, he has a knife! That's... What the hell? Grab this! What is this? You bastard! He literally killed my Dwayne Johnson plush from Jumanji! What the hell? This guy's actually pretty funny, and I like that he included his, um... Dwayne The Rock Johnson plushie from Jumanji. That was my favorite part of the video so far. I just wish I could see more Elmo-related violence. Say, Mystifying Oracle. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, check it out. It's more Elmo-related violence. Hey, get away from me! What the hell is wrong with you? What happened? You're coming towards me, you're being creepy! <laughs> that wasn't me. That was Elmo's soul. It, it, it was in me. I, I promise you, Nicole, it was in me. I felt him in me. Hey, yo, I felt him in me? <laughs> kind of sus. <laughs> you guys, everyone liked the video, so we could cut him open right now, okay? okay. okay. <laughs> 
You know what? The video is becoming way too long. You guys, come back tomorrow to find out what's inside Elmo because we're going to cut him open and see if he's actually real or if he's fake. What he said, guys, come back tomorrow to find out what's inside Elmo and make sure you like the video because I love making videos on XE's YouTube channel and I am XE actually in the flesh. So make sure you subscribe to me, XE, on my other YouTube channel called User with two R's. You better fucking subscribe to me right now. I make pretty good videos and I do a lot of editing. So yeah, you should go subscribe to me, XE, on my second channel, User. All right, so big props to User for hopping on the video, also known as me. Uh, make sure you go subscribe to me and also subscribe to me. I'm trying to pass PewDiePie by tomorrow, so uh, if you guys could help me out with that, that'd be amazing. Anyway, that's about it for today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please be sure to absolutely smash that like button. Who knows, man? If we make it to a million likes, I'll probably continue this series on my YouTube channel, probably. Yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching today. I'll catch you all later. Peace.